There's an old saying that says, we should shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll still land among the stars. I love that, and I believe it to be true. To be successful, we must try. There's no magic in success. We must put forth the effort and be willing to fail a few times. <laughs> Maybe even more than a few times. That's a scary thought, isn't it? No one wants to fail, but failure is just a part of succeeding. Every time we fail, we learn something. We can use that failure to redirect our efforts and try something new. However, failure is hard. It's painful, embarrassing, costly, and discouraging. No one begins something new looking forward to failing. In the beginning, we're excited, hopeful, and often joyful. But at some point when the journey becomes too painful, we stop. If this happens too many times, we become sad and discouraged. We stop believing and dreaming. Our goal in life may to be have no goals at all. Do you know anyone like that? Do you know someone who has given up? Maybe you know someone whose life has knocked them down so many times that they've stopped trying, dreaming, and believing. Maybe that person is you. My sweet sister, I have great news for you. God is the great restorer of hope. That's what you're missing. That's what you need, hope. Hope is the belief that things will get better, that success is possible, that it's okay to dream because dreams can come true. This is what Jesus says in John 10, 10. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it more abundantly. Satan is a thief. He wants to steal our joy. He tries to steal our dreams, goals, and our positive outlook on life. Sisters, don't let him. We must go to Jesus and lay it down all at his feet. Jesus will save and protect us. John 10, 11. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Jesus loves us. He gave his life for us and he only wants what's best for us. He wants us to have joy and peace in our lives. When we spend our lives in turmoil and fear, we miss all the blessings that God is giving us every day. God doesn't want us to be sad, depressed, or give up on life. Jesus paints this beautiful picture of sheep being cared for by a shepherd that loves them so much he would die for them. This shepherd was not hired for this job, and he's not a worker. These sheep belong to him. They are his. He loves them, and he knows them, and he will do whatever it takes to care for them. A good shepherd will even lay at the door of the sheep pen, putting his life between the sheep and the dangers from the outside of the sheep pen. Inside that pen, the sheep are safe, cared for, and loved. If you're a Christian, you are inside that pen. You are safe. You are loved. You can dream, have goals, and have hope. So, my sisters, here's the truth. We all need to be moving, walking, dreaming. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. First, we must trust in God. Then we must allow him to direct our paths. But we must be walking. We must give that big dream and all our dreams to God. We must pray and ask him to show us what to do and which way to go. We must be open to his directions and his instructions. When we do this, we know that what happens will be perfect because everything that God does is perfect. Now, it may not look just like what we had in mind. God doesn't take orders from us, but if it's good, he will bless it. He will bless us. That's the hard part, or at least it is for me, to take God a dream, a goal, and truly lay it down at his feet. Remember the tabernacle in the Old Testament? David really wanted to build it for God. But God said no because David was a man of war. So David collected many of the materials for the build. 
but it would be Solomon, David's son, who did the building. So David's goal of building a house for God was changed, and David accepted that change and served God in a way that pleased God, not David. You can read about this in 2 Samuel chapter 7. That's what we must do. Dream, plan, have goals, and then fully give them to God to work out His way. Christ is our shepherd, our protector, and the one who guides our lives. So after we've given our goals to Him, we must start walking, take action, look for the doors that God opens, knowing that God's way is always best. Failure? Yes, we will fail. But that's part of the process. Real failure is not trusting God enough to lead us where we need to be. Trusting God with everything in our lives is a goal we should all have and share. Ladies, Thanks for listening as I shared this message today. May God bless you, and please never forget that God loves you, and so do I.